Hello, it's Helder here. And today I wanna to talk to you about one of my favorite protein powders made by Organifi. Recently within my Warrior Zero project, we have been discussing post-workout shakes and just shakes in general. And I realized that I really haven't put a review together for my members on the Organifi products. And since it is something that I consume and consume quite often and have some experience with it, I figure I'd want to share that with my uh, members. And if you're interested, you can follow along and get this information also. So let's get started. When it comes to protein powders, there are a plethora of choices in today's market. But it basically boils down to, let's say, two main categories. One being plant-based, which is what I'll be discussing today with these Organifi protein powders. And then there are uh, protein powders that contain animal products, and specifically whey, a casein that's found in milk, that's extracted, and uh, getting most of the, uh, let's say, protein source from there. Now, I stick to a plant-based uh, protein, and I have several ones, Organifi being one of the ones that I do consume on a daily and even uh, weekly and even daily basis. But for those of you that are not plant-based or have uh, issues with even being called uh, vegan or anything like that, well, don't worry about that because we're talking about one meal or one facet of your lifestyle. And the reason I prefer the plant base is because while I'm out there, I live a very active lifestyle. So while I'm out in the field, uh, recording videos, recording tutorials, reviewing gear, uh, all the stuff that I do out there, or even just recreationally to go out there and, uh, and move around and, uh, you know, kind of just get away from uh, and unplug for a while. I want to be able to consume a meal and consume a meal that's going to keep me going, not tax me, allow me to focus on whatever the mission is at hand and not feel lethargic. And I find that with my plant-based shakes. And on top of that, it's just super easy for something to consume while I'm out there in the field. I basically can have just a standard cocktail shaker because this stuff is so thin from not containing animal products that it easily uh, dissipates or assimilates right into the water with just a few shakes. And that way I can consume my, uh, my drink and it's not all lumpy and getting caught in my throat and other good stuff that, uh, or other stuff that's not very good, at least for me. So that also conveys over, I'm talking about, let's say, being out in a field and hiking on a trail and, you know, that type of scenario. But that also conveys to whether I'm in my headquarters, in the gym, in the car, and I just want to consume something, once again, that's not going to tax me and make me feel all lazy, but give me all the good stuff that I need to keep going. Not only for that duration of what I'm doing that day, but also implementing quality ingredients and quality products that are going into my system. And basically, that's one of the main reasons why I am a fan of the plant-based proteins as opposed to the animal-based proteins. Now, one thing right off the bat is that these products are not inexpensive. And pretty much any quality uh, protein powder, be it plant-based or be it animal-based, is uh, not inexpensive. But what you really need to think about is you need to read these ingredients and see what you're actually getting. This is real food. It's not a supplement. It's not some fad pill. These are quality ingredients that if you were to do the per serving and what you're paying per serving on a shake, as opposed to a meal that you would buy or even a meal replacement that you would buy, there is uh, no question that this actually comes out cheaper. And the value that you're getting as far as nutrition, the net gain that you're getting from both the protein and all the other good stuff that's in there is far more valuable than a lot of the meals that you are going to consume, especially because it's not taxing the di digestive system as much because it's all liquefied. You don't have to chew and, and your body go into all these other chemical reactions to be able to digest that food because it's just that much easier. You're kind of preparing it beforehand, assimilate it, telling the body, hey, take all the good stuff out that I need and don't worry about spending all that excess time digesting where you got to sit off on the side of the field. I remember just being in the Marine Corps eating MREs, things like that, and we would consume those calories and we're like, man, we don't want to do a damn thing. And meanwhile, the whole day is still ahead of us. So uh, all these little experiences from the past, once you do start experiencing other things, and that's why it's all about experiencing. Um, as I bring up often, you could use my uh, experience as a guidance, but then your body's gonna really tell you what you like the most, what feels better for you. We're all built a little bit differently. So when you do adhere to somebody's advice, take it as advice, but uh, you know, don't take it as gospel, so to speak, or the end all. Experiment out there. Let your body tell you what you feel, but also don't have it once and just say, well, that didn't work for me or whatever. Give it some time. Try things out for a week. Let your body get used to it, and then your body's going to tell you, hey, is this good to go for me, or do I need to look elsewhere? 
when it comes to protein powders or pretty much any product on a the market these days, all of this stuff that you see pretty much in the front on the label, that's marketing and it really can't be trusted. And there is a lot of flexibility that I don't even want to get into it where all different guidelines are just up in the air and just put whatever the heck you want on the bottle, not very regulated, not FDA approved. So we need to, we do need to do our homework. And the most important thing that you could really trust on here or any packaging really is the supplement facts and of course the ingredients because that's pretty much where they have to tell the truth. And there's even some liberty there, but not to get into specifics. Look at this stuff. This can't lie. Look at the ingredients. Read the ingredients. If there's something in there super foreign and you look it up and do a Google search or whatever and it just sounds a little bit iffy, don't buy that product. Don't invest your money in that product. Look for something else that's cleaner. There are a lot of other choices out there and similar price points. Now, as I mentioned, I consume various uh, protein powders, once again, all plant-based. And the reason why I do that is because of boredom, right? I don't want to consume the same thing every day, have the same taste, no matter how great it is. It gets boring, so I do have a few different ones. They're all good to go. And Organifi being definitely one of the top ones that I do consume, as I stated already earlier. They are a uh, plant uh, pea-based protein. And like I said, if you were to read the ingredients, and I'm not going to do it on here. Once again, I'll list everything in my blog post, so be sure to check that out. Everything is a quality ingredient. Everything is really uh, top-notch. And things that we actually do need, not just thrown in there because it's the latest superfood and it's the latest thing in somebody's magazine or blog or whatever. No, it's really, really good stuff. And like I said, try it. Don't just take my word for it and see how you feel afterwards. And uh, one of the other things that's just as important, sometimes even the most important, is the taste. And I happen to love the taste of the Organifi shakes. I like the vanilla, which a lot of times I'm pretty much just a chocolate guy. But the vanilla is delicious and something that I have just as often, if not even more often, than the chocolate. And the two that I have here are actually chocolate flavored, which is usually my go-to whenever I'm trying out something new. So you'll have those two choices, whether it is vanilla, whether it is chocolate. And all I can say from my personal experience is they're both delicious. I think if you uh, taste them, you'd be pleasantly surprised. And I'm talking about just mixing them with water, keeping it nice and simple. You add some hemp, hemp milk or almond milk or whatever your favorite drink is and start experimenting with that and uh, putting it just as an ingredient in maybe a smoothie where you're adding a bunch of fruit and nuts and a bunch of other stuff and making it more of a meal meal uh, rather than a, uh, an on the go meal. All of the exp experimentation is just going to help you find what you need and what works for you. And then if you do find that, then you're able to stick with it. And that's the most important thing is for us to find that lifestyle, stick to it and something that's gonna keep us going, keep us healthy and keep us moving uh, till we're no longer here. So bottom line, if you are looking for a protein powder that is filled with uh, excellent vitamins and nutritions and of course the specific protein that you're looking for, take a look at these Organifi. I've been using Organifi products for I guess over two years now and I'm very happy with everything that I buy from Organifi and the protein powder is certainly good to go. I think if you give it a try, as I was discussing on here, you'll uh, be pleasantly surprised and most likely something that you will stick to because you're gonna look forward to that tasty drink. This is Helder. I hope that you found this review helpful.